Hey guys, a lot of you have watched my rustic American flag videos on how to make these flags. I never did really explain though how to make the stencil sheets for the Union. Now, that's what I'm going to do today. I made my very first stencil sheet out of poster board. That worked great until after you've made several, they kind of wear out. The corners wear out, the stars get out of shape, and it makes it a challenge there on the Union when you're using the Dremel tool. This is a plastic stencil sheet, and this is what I use today. I actually make a lot of these and sell some. So let me show you how to make these and maybe I can walk you through the process if you want to try it yourself. It's not hard, it is a little time consuming, but I'll show you how to do it. All right guys, here's how I made my very first stencil because it was like trial and error. It did take me a while, but I did it in Word on my computer. Now I have purchased Word for my iPad and by the way, that works really good. I suggest getting it. I think it was like $9, but it was well worth it to me to get Word on my iPad. All right, word bottom left here. There's the app. I'm going to touch that. And you can see where I've been messing with some stars here already. Let me go back out of that. I'm going to delete that. And I'm going to blank document. There's new on the left and blank document up top there. Okay, I'm going to get rid of the keyboard. Now you see across the top, there's home, insert, draw, layout review and view. Now this is pretty much the same format as it is on the computer and that's where I made my very first one. On the computer you have a, a cursor that you can follow and, and you know click and drag or whatever. This is touch screen so you won't be able to see a, a cursor here but just follow me along. I'm going to insert there on the top. Okay below insert you see pictures, camera, shapes and text box. Go to shapes and the recently used shapes, of course, there's a star. But if you want to look for the stars or banners, you go down here to star and banners. And until I started this stencil, I didn't know that all these shapes and banners and such were offered in words. So it's pretty cool. You can make some other projects with it as well. So top here on stars and banners, star. Okay, now you have a star on your blank here and you can touch it move it around click it and drag it if you're on a computer move it around where you need to now real quick if you touch this yellow circle and move it you're gonna change the shape of it okay so I'm gonna do undo and that puts it back to where it should be if you touch any of these circles on any corner and drag them and that affects the total size of the star and the width and the height and you hit undo and undo again if you touch any of these squares bottom top right or left and drag it that affects the height so you can change it pretty much any way you need to I'm gonna hit undo again and that's going to put it back where it should be now for the 37 inch by 19 and a half inch flag I use 1.1 inch stars so that's what I'm going to do here I'm going to drag this up. You see when I'm dragging it, it shows the height and width or width and height. I'm going to 1.1. 1 .1. Alright, so there's 1.1. Now, you can't go up but so high here. And so I'm going up as high as I can and just leave a little space there. And I'm basically going to click it, hit copy, click the screen twice and hit paste and I'm just going to put a few stars on there one thing to remember that if you use a computer you can right click on the star and when you right click on the star it'll give you options and some of those options offer size and you can actually type in the size that you want it to be and it will change for you instead of having to drag drag the corner out. And I'm just pulling these up to the top here. And if you're thinking, okay, well this is taking a little extra time. I think I said in the beginning, it is time consuming. Alright. I'm going to put these. I know that it's right as far as up as high as it can go and 
I'm touching them tip to tip because that's how I decide the width between the stars. And again, I'm just putting these tip to tip and then we'll move them later to, to allow the spaces between the stars. Okay, now I know there should be a space there. That one needs to move, but before I move it, I'm going to use it as a reference point for the star below it. And I'll move this star up to the center of that star right below it. And the box that pops up there should give me a reference. The top line on that box should be touching the tips of that star. And you can see a little line going up there at the top. That's going to be the dead center of that star. Now that star can move. And I'm going to move it here and use those stars as a reference. And that's really close. And that star don't need to be there, but I need one down here so I can use that star that I just placed there as a reference point to make sure um, the right distance apart and centered up. And you see that's not perfect, but it's really close. Now once you transfer this over to a stencil sheet and get everything transferred over and drawn out and cut out if there's any differences here they're going to be small differences and you're not going to see it on your union in the flag it's not going to be that noticeable but if you use the other stars as a reference point you should have a really good stencil laid out there okay i'm sure you get the general idea of what i'm doing here so i'll speed through this process one tip is when you get your stencil made don't forget to write top at the top of your stencil it is easy to turn it upside down and put your stars on upside down you don't want to do that and you have this as your layout the union should be the height of nine stars down so here i have one two three four five six seven I have seven stars and it should be 11 across and I have six all right so I need to add two more stars down and five more stars to the side there and again I hope this all makes sense it's actually pretty simple once you get this you can save it and then you know if you want to use poster board it won't be too hard you got you got the layout here you can print it out anytime once you save it and and recut it but cutting it is time consuming okay i'm gonna use this six foot flag as a table just for now okay now once you have this all laid out and ready to go you use a piece of carbon paper put it over your stencil sheet your poster board or whatever you're going to use this is cardboard i do not suggest using cardboard because it's it's too thick uh, it's corrugated, so it's, it's not a, like a solid piece. This is simply here to keep from marking up this flag. I just got that there for protection of the flag. But I'm going to lay this down on the carbon paper, and then I would trace the stars. And I've already marked on one here, so let me find another one here. Let's see if I can do this left-handed so you can see what I'm doing. But I'm just tracing over it, and I really... Can't do a whole lot left-handed. Let's go right-handed. I'm just going to trace over the stars. And once you have them all traced out, then you want to move all that. You'll have the 50 stars here on your sheet, whether it's poster board or stencil sheet or whatever. And you can take an X-Acto knife, a sharp knife. I used a carving knife because I have a lot of carving tools. I had a really sharp one and uh, I just used it to cut out the poster board. 
All right, guys, that's it. It's a pretty easy process. It's not difficult, but it is time consuming. Actually, every step is a little bit time consuming. It's easy to get frustrated. Try not to get frustrated, hang in there, and you'll have your good stencil when you're done. If you get frustrated and you don't want to finish and you say, hey, I'd rather buy one, or if you just want to start out with a brand new one, just like this, shoot me an email. My email address as well as Facebook and Twitter and everything is in the comments below. You can find me, you can contact me, and I can tell you how to purchase one of these. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.